Put HMR 15 millimeters, measure, and mark at the center. Drill the mark. I use my adjustable router jig to make circle. Put another HMR 18 millimeters measure and mark at the center. Then, use router jig to make circle. Put drill bit 4 millimeters and put it into the center hole made before. Then, give mark. I use shaft stainless 10 millimeters as spindle. Drill HMR 15 millimeters using drill bit 10 millimeters. Drill HMR 18 millimeters using first net 15 millimeters. Assemble two pieces circle as one, and make sure it right to the center. I added pattern on the shaft for the grip. I use epoxy glue to assemble shaft with the HMR circle cuts made before. Filling up until full using epoxy glue. Then, check using speed square and make sure the shaft's angle is 90 degrees. Cut three pieces HMR with width 60 millimeters.
cut again with length 160 mm using miter saw. Then, cut the edge with angle 45 degrees. Measure and mark the HMR cuts before to make hole. Put three cuts as one using paper tape. Then, drill using drill bit 4 millimeters. I will add bearing on HMR. Drill HMR using first net 25 millimeters for placing bearing. Use drill bit 4 mm to make center. Use paper tape to bind it as one. Then, drill it using drill bit 10 mm. Place bearing on the hole made before. I use shaft for assemble 3 HMR cuts made before. Cut HMR using table saw with dimension 500 mm x 300 mm. This HMR cut used as base. Measure and mark the base to place the disc sander's position. Place disc sander and check using speed square. After everything is fixed, assemble all parts using glue and screw. Put drill on the base. Measure to cut the excess shaft. Try the disc sander using drill. Sander the edge of the disc. Cut the shaft using grinder. I put sandpaper sheet. Use disc as a template. Then, cut the mark. I give all the surface of disc sander with paper tape. This is used to change sandpaper easily. Place sandpaper on the disc using glue. Cut HMR to make drill base. Assemble all cuts on the base. Use drill as a template to place hose clamp.
I use palm router to make the hole for hose clamp. You can secure the drill's position using hose clamp. Assemble all HMR cuts before as one. Then, assemble it on main base. I add plug and push button on the side. Try turn on, if everything is right then it can turn on easily. Take the rest HMR from the cut of disc cut before. Cut it into two pieces using table saw. Put the cuts under the disc sander. Mark the HMR cut, then cut using miter saw. Assemble the HMR cut under the disc sander using glue. Check using angle ruler and make sure the angle 90 degrees. Cut HMR with width 105 millimeters. Measure and mark with length 150 millimeters, then cut using miter saw. I will add hole for vacuum. Drill HMR using hole saw 32 mm. Assemble all the cuts on the main base. Cut HMR to make vacuum box. Cut HMR with dimension 330 mm x 170 mm. I will add T-track on this disc sander base. Measure and mark to make slot. Use router to make the slot. Cut T-track using grinder. Use epoxy glue to assemble T-track on the disc sander base. Drill HMR and give counter sink. Then, Use screw to lock the position. I try to make rounded edge HMR. Use disc sander to make rounded shape. The result is really good. I combine speed control with disc sander.
I can set up the RPM speed. This disc sander is still powerful. I put meter gauge rod on T-Track. Set up the angle 45 degrees, then lock the position. I set up the RPM. Sander the HMR following the meter gauge rod's angle. The result is perfect and the angle is 90 degrees precisely.